Hey there guys, so welcome to Emulator News Xenia Edition and the reason why Yuzu and Xenia are getting their own videos is because a lot of stuff has happened for both emulators that I didn't want to shove into one like 40 minute video. So we're going to cut it down into two main videos. First off, let's go over what's rasterization order views has done for Halo. It has brought my FPS from 15 to 30 on this main screen. It is incredible, no doubt about that. Now, in the last couple of days, the freezing has been fixed somewhat. There are still crashing issues at the end of missions. Completely normal. Uh, they'll be fixed eventually, hopefully. They're probably missing an instruction that basically goes from um, gameplay to cinematic. Uh, hopefully someone will figure that out. Um, it has. They have fixed the green bloom issue that happens on grass and decals and stuff like that. And the freezing is probably the biggest one. So to really go over that, we're going to have to jump into game and check it out. See you once we're there. All right, guys, we are in game and we are on our way to fight some annoying little grunt bastards. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is that it seems AA was fixed by Restoration Order Views. And as you can clearly see, Halo looks crisp as possible. So usually about this point we get a freeze and we can continue on. The freeze happens literally seconds and then it's done. Another thing, when this comes in, we usually get a freeze right here, but we're good. All right. Yeah, okay, so this is completely normal. So I'm gonna just jump right into war here. go now usually when we're being fired at no freezes no freezes yep so this is one of the major uh things with the upgrade oh geez where is he where is he i don't want to be hit no mommy what i didn't say that so yeah the freezing is gone uh that is definitely confirmed but what about the half offset let's check about that um Gonna need to kill a over here. Is this what I need? No. Uh trying to throw down a gadget here. No, can't do it. Oh well, let's continue onward. Alright, so the next game we're going to be checking out is Halo ODST, because without rasterization order views, uh, you would probably normally see... We're going to let him be. I'm going to let him be. He's going to have to throw down a bubble shield. Damn it. I want to check and see if those transparency issues, the half offset things are fixed. Uh, I guess I can't, we'll just have to continue playing. Okay, once I get into Halo, it's very addicting. On to the next game. Alright, so the next step of our journey is not to ODST, but instead to Halo 4, just to go mix it up just a bit. I love ODST. Oh. I love ODST a lot, but... This. Is probably one of my favorite games. And I know that many people did not like Halo 4, but I'm not one of those people. Come on, let me in. Now, this needs a mod to get working, but once you fiddle around enough, you can get it to run. Uh, it should crash after the cinematic, I'm not quite sure, but... Uh, just in case I'm going to definitely spam buttons. Hey look, something's rendered on the screen. Now people haven't managed to get in-game. They have managed to have it look amazing. Alright, we're in and we're loading. Hopefully Rec Room does not crash. 
and it crashed. Nothing I could do about that. But as you can see, in-game is rendering and it looks kind of okay. Nothing else I can say more about Halo 4. On to ODST, huh? All right, guys, before we jump into gameplay, let's go over another thing. Rasterization order views was meant to improve performance to fix a lot of rendering issues, and it did so. Banjo-Kazooie, or Banjo-Tooie, um, now has no alpha issues. Uh, it's currently broken right now for me for some reason. But you gotta understand that AMD, only the Vega GPUs support rasterization order views. I have messaged AMD on the forums asking for backwards compatibility with the RX 500, 400, and R9 cards and R7 cards. They do all have the function to support rasterization order views, but unfortunately, there's nothing we can really do. Now, onward. And here we are starting off at the very first cut, the very first scene of Halo DST where the rookie will open his eyes. Now in the past, there's been a half screen bug, which pretty much means the top, the bottom half of your screen is blue and the top half of your screen works completely normal. Rasterization order views managed to fix that. That was apparently related to uh, reflection issues. And as you can see, boom, we are here. So we're gonna get out of this pod, just gotta look around real quick. Uh, Rookie has some weird uh, sensitivity and stuff. So I'm actually gonna have to probably adjust that. So let's blow the hatch and get on with life, shall we? Yeah, okay, let me do that. One. Now, I really wish this was on PC, like officially with mouse and keyboard, for one reason. Controllers suck for first-person shooters. I'm gonna put that out there, gonna say it. That's my final word on the matter. Now, as you can see, everything looks great. Um... I'm unfortunately, wait, no, I'm not using a modified EXE right now, I'm using the actual stock game and there's no debris issues, look at this, no alpha issues, no decal issues, health is low, yeah, I know my health is low, so this is OTST on PC, I think we're at an end game here, so freezing is supposed to be fixed once again, uh, we're gonna turn on this. Get out of here, loser. So as you can see, we did not have freezing at all besides shaders compiling which just happened there because this area right here is pretty heavy uh yeah so our first objective is actually to go find the map and download it so let's do that actually i believe we have to kill almost everybody in the area before this part actually activates and then we can get on with our mission but You've seen all that you need to see. You've seen how it looks, how it runs. And I bet every one of you are ridiculously excited. I know I am. Because after I'm done making emulator news for Xenia, guess what I'm going to go do? I'm playing through this game. And I'm going to enjoy myself at every turn. Now, just so you... Th I, I want to do one more thing, just so you know it wasn't a fluke. There should be... A grunt around here somewhere... Where is that grunt? There we go. I see him. We're going to shoot him in the ass. Oh, the half offset is so much better than it was before. Look at this. That I can deal with. Boom. All right. Yeah, that I could definitely deal with a lot better than what was there. Anyway, on to Halo Reach. I don't know if I can get in-game or not, but I will try to get some footage of in-game. See you soon. 
Okay guys, so this is all I'm going to be able to give you of the single player campaign. Unfortunately, it will crash after the cinematic is finished. And I will be going into Forge in a minute here to show you what that looks like. I'm really enjoying putting this video together so far. Getting all this footage is really fun. So, welcome to Reach on PC. This was not by far my favorite Halo game. This, uh, honestly, is the one that I hated the most. It just tried to tell a story that just felt rushed and half-assed. But this is not a review from me. Uh, these are actual in-game render scenes. Look at that. Looks really nice. I never... I don't think I could ever really enjoy this game, but when it works, I'll play through it, find bugs and stuff, so, yeah. I'm glad that everything is rendering properly now. It looks really good. Halo DST was my favorite Halo game, followed by 3 and 4. Halo 2 never really could stand it very much. It just looked like a bunch of plastic idiots running around. But that was a limitation of its time. My god, look at that Spartan booty. He's like, dumb would have tapped that armor hard. I apologize. Uh, it's funny, though. The seeing Spartans with the other helmet still freaks me out a bit. Yeah, there's that. So, we're going to jump out of here and we're going to go into Forge. See you there. Okay, guys, we are inside of the multiplayer or Forge of Reach. And as you can see, it looks glorious. There are very, very few rendering issues that I can see. I don't see any actually. Cube maps look like they're working alright. It is very very stuttery at the moment. Uh, that's because I'm recording so I don't have full FPS. And I'm going to hit the wall. We're going to check to see if Forge works. Let's see. Oh wow it works. Nice. That makes me happy. So yeah, tons of render improvements thanks to rasterization or reviews once again. Uh, everything's looking fantastic. Um, I'm in love with this actually, this is pretty cool. All the, uh, the decals are working. You know, everything looks the way that it should. I think maybe we should probably test some shooting. Yep, they seem to all be working too. Nade. Yeah, the explosions are not rendering properly. That will be fixed eventually, I hope. Because those are important to the 24 FPS cinematic universe of consoles. Alright, so... Perfect Dark. Um, it's got some major issues, so showing that would be pretty pointless. Um, Banjo Kazooie has Banjo Tooie, as I said, is broken. Uh, Banjo Kazooie, I think it's called the the one for the 360, uh, is currently having render issues with grass and stuff, and just jumping right into stuff with that one is a bit annoying. Freezes the title screen, takes too long, but I'll try to pop it in in a minute here. Alright, so on to the next game. And welcome in game. Real time render here of Banjo. You can see his freaking car down there. Look at that. Look at that bug. It looks like it's currently having some depth issues. I think? No? Okay, I'm confused. This game just looks uglier and uglier each time I see it. Oh my. Well, I wanted to inject something other than Halo for this, so that's what I'm doing. No, oh, this, this, this needs, needs a serious alpha upgrade. Wow. No point even going in game, it would take forever. Oh, look, it's a little onion. Oh, isn't that onion cute? Anyway guys, that's it for emulator news for Xenia. Huge fixes, tons of render improvements, there's water 
supposed to be there, but there's no water there. No. Why would there be? God, this game sucks. I mean, I didn't even know this thing existed. That's how bad this game sucked. I'll see you next time. Um, next Sunday, maybe the Sunday after that, I'm not really sure. It depends on how many improvements happen between now and then. Why is the grass there? The developers were really, really weird. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that nutty stuff. Nuts and bolts, you know? And, and yeah. Bye. God, this game is, like, worse than Trump.